الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن التبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد to proceed today's lesson بإذن الله تعالى we are going to continue our discussion concerning المفاعيل الخمسة which means, yeah, Muhammad. The five uh, Right, the five objects. In our previous lessons, we have already discussed al mafulu bihi and al mafulu al mutlaqu. So the next mafulu that we need to speak about is al mafulu fihi, al mafulu fihi that relates to. The object that represents the time or the place in which the action took place. Right? So we have what we call the roof of Zamani wa dharufun makani. And the reason why they called the dharufun, which is a plural of dharfun is because a dharfun literally means an envelope or wi'a'un, a container. So you're placing something in a container that represents the time or the place in which that action took place. Right? So it's not particularly difficult a concept to understand. In fact, we've already spoken about dharuf al-zamani so it's the same discussion, but it's extended now because we are linking it to a fi'lun or to an amilun that has caused that dharfun to appear. And we will explain what that means insha'Allah ta'ala. So we have two types, dharufu al-zamani wa dharufu al-makani. <laughs> So beginning with the roof al zamani. Now, what's the connection between the roof al zamani and al mafulu fihi? The connection is, is that the mafulu fihi is the darf al zamani, right? So the two terms they relate to the same. Ismun, right? But this is for the purpose of grammatical analysis when we refer to it as al mafulu fihi. What it actually is, is a dharfu zamani or a dharfu makani. For example, starting with the dharfu zamani, we want to say, I attended the lesson in the morning. I attended the lesson in the morning. How do we say that here, yeah, Muhammadu? I attended is? Akhada. Akhada is he took. Hadara. Hadara. He attended. Hadara. Hadara is he attended. We want to say I attended. So we therefore say Hadar to and Al Fatha to here becomes a sakun. Hadar to the lesson. Ad Dar yeah, Muhammad. Adarsu. Hadartu adarsu. Is that what we say? Hadartu adarsu? No. Um, what is adarsu huna? Adarsu huna is the? Fa'ilun. The fa'ilun. Well, that's right. It is the fa'ilun because, it, well, it's not the fa'ilun, but it could be a fa'ilun because you've made it marfu'un. But our fa'ilun is here too. Ah, uh, yes, uh, our darsa. A darsa, because a darsa is? Mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi, a darsa. Right? Fil subahi. Right. You want to say fi as sabahi. Fi as sabahi, don't you? 
That's what you want to say. Fi. <coughs> huh? Sabahi. Sabahi. Now, because I asked you to say, to translate, I attended the lesson in the morning. So you naturally said, Hadartu adarsa, which means I attended the lesson. Fi in as sabahi is the morning, in the morning with a harf ujar and an ismun majrurun, and this is a shibhul jumlati. And that's fine. However, we want to use al maf'ulu fihi that represents this meaning. So what is the maf oh. al maf'ulu fihi that would represent this meaning? You take out the fi and then change it into an adafa construct. You take out the fee. Yeah, so we remove the fee here and does, um, why would it be, become an indalfa construct? Because I thought Zaruf al Makani and Zaruf al Zamani is always an indalfa construct. Right. That's if there is an ismun that follows it. But here we, not, we don't want to express a meaning where an ismun is following. The dharf al zamani, are we? We, no, we? we don't want to say I attended the lesson the morning of yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. We just want to say I attended the lesson in the morning. So rather than saying fis sabahi, we can use that dharf al sabaha, but as al maf'ulu fihi. So we can say, therefore, Sabah Han Hadartu Adarsa Sabahan. Right? So Sabahan here is Mafulun Fihi. Al Mafulu Fihi. Right? The meaning that it conveys is in the morning or in a morning. Right? So here we now uh, say Hadar to Adarsa Sabahan. I attended the lesson in the morning. Right? Is that clear? And Sabahan is Al Mafulu Fihi, and all Al Mafailu are Mansubun. So therefore we say Sabahan. So it's not difficult to understand. We've taken Adharfu Zamani, and there are many that we've already spoken about, and we place it here in this position after the the fetlon, but it can be before in certain circumstances, and it is Mansubun. Right? So don't confuse Al Maf'ulu Bihi with Al Maf'ulu. Fihi, right? So another example. So you can have both of them in one sentence. Yes, you can have. We uh, we can mention an example where all of them are present. Okay. Right. In fact, I wanted to do that at the end once we complete al mafulu liyajli here, and then mention an example where they're all present. So we want to say, right? I fasted. The month of Ramadan. So now, month of Ramadan is going to be an idafatun, right? Month of Ramadan. So, I fasted is? So, antu. Right. It's not. So, Sama. Sama is? He fasted. Right. We don't want to say he, we want to say I. So, it becomes. Sumtu Sumtu Remember that that verb Sama is weak mm. Right? Al Mu'attal And therefore We uh, In order to change it, it's different from a normal three letter verb Right? So the way that I do it is you remember how to change one particular verb of that type like qala 
and then you applied the same rule. It doesn't always work, but it usually does. So I said is qultu. <coughs> Therefore I fasted is so, sum sumtu. Right. Now so you want to say I fasted sumtu uh, Ramadan na sumtu month of Ramadan. Month come first. Yes. Um shah run al Ramadani. Right. So sum to here. فعل ماض مبني على السكون لاتصاله بتاء الفاعل المتحركة. Right? And تاء is the ضمير متصل مبني على الضم في محل رفع الفاعل. Right? Sum to I first. So now remember that المفعول فيه represents. What? It represents, we're talking about a zamani, the time in which that was performed, yeah. right? And the time in which it was performed is always going to be mansubun because it is al mafulu fihi. So, what therefore do we place on shahar? Um, two fatahs. If we place two fatahs on oh, it, sorry, one, one, one. right? It's going to be shahara. Right, and then what do we place on the noon? Ramadani. Right, ordinarily it would be Ramadani, wouldn't it? Because it's an Adafa construct, but it's not going to be Ramadani. Why? Because it's Mamnum in a Sarfi. It can only be Ramadanu or Ramadana. So which one is it going to be? So it's going to be Ramadana. Fine. So we have sabahan and we have shahra. Shahra is month. Yeah. Right? And we can say, for example, um, I visited him during the night. Right? How do we say I visited him uh, in the night time? I visited is Zara Zara is he visited I visited therefore is Zartu Zartu right Zartu Zartu but as I said I visited him Zartu who good Zortuhu. The Arabun of Zortuhu. So, Zor. Zor is a Fa'ilun. Fa'ilun. Fa'ilun Madi. Madin. Mabniyun ala Sukuni. Good. That's it. Litisalihi, because it's connected. Litisalihi, Damiru. No, Bitta'i. It's connected to a Ta, isn't it? Ta'il al Fa'ili. And the ta itself is Damirun Damirun Muttasilun Muttasilun Mabniyun Mabniyun ala Ala Dammi Right? Fi mahalli Raf'in Fa'ilun Right? That's what it is So who is Is connected Damirun Muttasilun Mabniyun ala Dammi Mabniyun ala Dammi Right, but fi mahalli Nasbin? Nasbin, good. Fi mahalli nasbin. And it is? Zurtu hu become, so therefore who is? Fi bihi. Mafoolun bihi. Ahsanti ya Muhammadu. Zurtu hu? During the night. During the night. Athnaw? Yes, but we don't want to say athnaw. We just want to use? During. Laylan. Zortuhu Laylan. Okay. Right? Okay. The beginning of Surah Al Isra. <coughs> Subhanallahi Asra Biabdihi Laylan. Min al Masjid al Haram al Masjid al Aqsa. Laylan. During the night. 
right? Zurtuhu laylan. Okay. Right? So you don't need to say during or... You could, you could say, before. you could say athna'a, you could say athna'a al-layli. But there's no need because what we're trying to do here, in fact, athna'a is um, dharfu zamani too, right? But what we're trying to do here is show how we are using a single ismun, in which in this case it's a dharfu uh, a zamani in the position for al fihi, right? And it's a mansubun. So zurtuhu laylan. But the point to notice is that there are many of these. Ama, sanata, saata, right? Yoma. That's another very common one, right? So for example, I will go. Let's use a present tense. I will go to the market on Thursday. Um, so right, but we want to say sa. Sa adhabu. Sa adhabu. To the market. Do I need to say two? Can I just say market? No, two. Okay, Ila. Ila. Asuki. Right. Asuki. Ila Suki. Yomil. Right, this is why we now have to be careful. Because Yom is our period in which the action is going to take place, isn't it? So therefore, Yom is the Al mafulu fihi. And if al yom is al mafulu fihi, therefore it has to be mansubun. So yom al kha mi si. Kha mi si. Sa adhabu ila suqi yom al kha mi si. Right? Note that's an idafatun. If we just said, I will go to the market one day, th then we would say, yo. No, no, that's today. We would say, yo men. That means eighty. Yes. Right? Right? That therefore is the roof of Zamani being used as al mafulu fihi. Right? What else can we use as al mafulu fihi? The roof al makani. Hassanan. The roof al makani. So we have a number of dhurufu al makani. We have above, which is? Fawqa. No. Fawqa. We have under, which is? Tahta. We have in front, which is? Amama. We have behind which is? Khalfa. Khalfa. Good. <coughs> Khalfa. We have on the right which is? Yamina. 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 And we have on the left which is? Shimali. Yeah, or Yasara. And there are others, but these are the most common. Right? So, we want to say, for example, that I, I placed the book under the table. Right? I placed the book under the table. What is I placed? We have a number of different options. The most common is Jala, 
or wada'a. Right? So, ja'ala is he placed, <laughs> I placed is. Ja'altu. Right. Ja'altu. Ja'altu. The book. Um, al kitab Al kitab Under. Tahta. Tahta. Tawilati. Tawilati. Jaltu al kitaba. Tahta. Tawilati. Right? Similarly, there's nothing complicated there, right? Tahta here is our al mafulu. Fihi, which is a dharfu al makani, and that is an idafatun, which is what you were mentioned earlier on. Right? And similarly, I looked above the house. Um, in, in grammar, would uh, that whole last sentence word? The, the, both of those words be mafulu. No, that's yeah. al mafulu fihi and it's mudafun and that's mudafun ilayhi. Okay. Right, I looked above the house. Um, I looked above the roof. That's more appropriate. Mm -hmm. I looked. Nadartu. Na. Dar. Two. Fauqa. 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 Al bayti. Al saqfa. Actually, it's a saq. Fi. Nazar to fauqa saq fi. The ceiling or the roof. Right, nazar to fauqa saq fi. And similarly, we could have mentioned many examples, but inshallah ta'ala, that is not complicated to understand, right, Muhammad? So I stood in front of the house. How do we say that? I stood in front of the house. No idea. Waqafa. Waqafa is he stood. So I stood is. Waqaftu. Uqumtu. Waqaftu. Amama. Amama. Albayti. Albayti. Bayti. وقفت أمام البيت حسنا right. So the final part that we need to understand is the different types of al-awamilu the different types of al-awamilu what do we mean by al-awamilu Al-Amilu, remember from our Ajrumiya lessons. No, what's caused. The action. Not the action, what's caused the effect upon the word. All the examples that we've seen so far have been what? It's been Al Fitlu, right? <laughs> so number one is Al Fitlu. Okay? For example, a simple example. The habtu. Ila suki. The habtu. Yeah, but not the same one. The habtu ila al masjidi. Let's try that one. Ila al mas. 
G D Yolma Al Jumwati. Right? So I went to the mosque Yom Al Jumwati on the day of Al Jumwa. Now, if we talk about Al Amilu, remember from our was uh, Aj Rumi lessons, Al Amilu. What is Al Amilu? What's caused? Right. The effect of yom uh, to be al mafulu fihi. Right. Al amilu is the habtu, isn't it? Yeah. It is al the uh, habtu. So that's the first type of word which will act as an amilun causing the appearance of al-mafulu fihi right okay. what is what or what are the other ones that can have the same effect the other ones are the in uh, al-masdaru al-masdaru can have that effect al-masdaru remember what al-masdaru is it's uh, like a source, the source. No, it's an ismun that represents. Oh, it's uh, like a, it's a nominal verb. Oh, it's a nominal verb. It's a, no, it's not a nom. It's a, yes, it's a nominal verb, which doesn't really make much sense to anybody except those who have studied English grammar. What does it mean in practice? It's an it's an so ismun that ismun represents the action of a verb. Right, the action of the verb. For example, to illustrate the use of al-masdaru as an amilun would be, if we want to say, he stood, he stood in front of the car. How do we say he stood in front of the car? He said it about 10 minutes ago. Oh. Waqafa. Waqafa. He stood. Waqafa. Um, in front. Amama. Amama. Waqafa. Amama. Sayyara. Huh? Sayyara. La. Amama. Sayyara. T. Right. So we want to say standing in front of a car right is dangerous what's al masdaru of waqafa al waqufu al 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 waqufu Amama Sayarati Sayarat We'll use the indefinite Sayaratin Al Wakufu Amama Sayaratin Khatirun Kha Khatirun, dangerous. Or you could say fihi khatarun, in it is danger. Right? So, al waqufu amama sayaratin khatirun. But the point to note is what is al amilu here causing al maf'ulu fihi to appear? Um, standing uh, Al-Waqufu yeah. And as you pointed out correctly That is now Al-Jumla to Al-Ismiya Right? Al-Jumla to Al-Ismiya What else can act as an Amilun Causing Al-Maf'ulu Fihi to appear in this form? We can have Ismu Fa'ilin Remember that? Ismu fa 
et Lynn. Right? So, we want to say the bird glided or soared above the tower. That's a good sentence, isn't it? Right. So, uh, is, in fact, I think we've done this. Remember. Halaka. Yeah, this is halaka. He glided. Yes. Right? So, we want the ismu fa'il. But first, we want to say the bird. What's the bird? Ta'iru. <laughs> The bird gliding. So we need the ismufail. Now we are accustomed to having an ismufail which is extracted or formed from a simple three letter verb such as katab. And we always say, right, take the first letter place an alif after it, the second letter becomes kasra, the third becomes marfu'un. Okay, but that's not a, a, a simple three letter, is it? And that's the second form. So how do we form it? With a meme. So we say ta'iru mu Halli muhalli kun. A ta'iru muhalli kun. Above. Fauka. Al burji. Burji. A ta'iru muhalli kun. Gliding or soaring, fauqa above al burji the tower. The bird is soaring above the tower. Now, the purpose of this is to illustrate the use of ismufail as an amilun upon al mafulu fihi. Right. So that is not al fitlu. It's not al masdaru. It is ismu fa'ilun or ismu fa'ilin. Right? What's the difference between ismu fa'ilin and masdaru? Because uh, you change the verb into a noun both times. Yeah, but there are different types of nouns. Okay. Aren't they? For example, it, 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 Ketaba. Let's use our favorite verb ketaba to illustrate. Ketaba is he wrote. The dua, the ismu fa'il of ketaba is? Kutubun. Um, oh no, katibun. 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 Right? Yeah. What is al masdaru of kataba? You might not know this. It's kitabatun. Ki ta ba tun. Right? So kataba is al fi'lu. Katibun is ismu fa'il. Kitabatan is Al Mustaru. Oh. Al Mustaru. Right? Another example. Right? Um, one which you know. Uh, Al Mustaru. Shariba. Shariba. Is? He drank. Shariba. The dua, the ismu fa'il is? Shariba. Shariba. 
Right? What's al masdar? I'm gonna guess uh, she rose. No, that, this is why I'm using Sharabun. Right, that bar is slightly crooked. We need to correct it. Sharabun. Right, so your question is what is the difference? The difference between them is <coughs> is that Katibun and Sharibun is the Ism of A'il, what that represents the doer of the action. Okay, so it represents somebody drinking or somebody writing. Yes, it represents a doer of the action. Either the person doing the action now or the name of the person who is doing it, such as a Katibun. Right? What does Katibun mean? It means a writer. But what does it also mean? It means, the, yeah, writing, the, the name of the action that represents that word, which is writing. Right? What does a Kitabatun mean? Kitabatun is writing. It's another. It, it, I know that might seem very similar, and there is a connection between them, but for the purpose of grammar, they're completely different. Okay. And they have different rules connecting them, uh, connecting them to it. So, uh, Kitabatun and Sharabun, where have we encountered that? In Al Maful al Mutalak. Yeah. You can't use Katibun as Al Maful al Mutalak. It wouldn't make sense. You can't say Kataba Katibun. Actually, you can't say kataba katiban. It wouldn't make sense. But it wouldn't make sense to say kataba kitabatun. Why? Because al maful mutlaq has to be al masdar. And in addition to that, there are other rules that can katibun is the ismu fa'il can act like al fitlu. This is a different subject, and we don't want to deviate too much from what we we're talking about. But the point to note is, right, Katibun or Ismu Fa'il can act like a normal Fitlun. Whereas uh, Al Masdaru can't. In the sense that Katibun can take a Mafulun Bihi. Whereas Al Masdaru can't. You follow? Yeah. Right? Sure. So you can say Al Katibu Kitaban. Al Katibu Kitaban. The writer of the book or a book. And Al uh, Kitaban there is Mafulun Bihi. But that's a, a different subject. But the point to note don't confuse them. That is a Smufail, and that is. Al Masdaru. So the final one that we're going to mention is Ismu Maful. The Ismu Mafulin. What's the Ismu Mafulin? The noun of the object. The noun of the object, the thing done to it, like maf'ulun, mm. right? Remember, every fitlun will have a corresponding maf'ulun, such as kataba maktubun, shariba mashrubun, akala makulun, daraba madrubun, right? So. You can say, for example, uh, the key is lost uh, under the water. How do we say the key? Uh, Al? Al Mif. Mif. Tahu. Lost. Tahta. Lost. Lost. So he lost is. Faqada. Faqada is he lost. 
So what's the ismu maf'oolin of faqada? It is? Faqidun. No, no, no. That's the ismu fa'il. We want the ismu maf'ool. It is? Remember? Kataba maktubun. Shariba mashroobun. Akala maqoolun. Faqada? Maf'oolun. Maf'oolun. Al-miftahu? Maf'oolun. Maf. Hudun under the water. Tahta 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 Al Oh you could say under the under the sea, yeah that's good. Tahtal Bahri Right Tahtal Bahri Al Miftahu Mafkudun Again, Tahta is al mafulu fihi. But the Amilun here is said to be what? Mafkudun. Mafkudun is what is causing Tahta to act as al mafulu fihi. What does Mafkudun mean? Just lost? Yes, lost. Right? Now, the point to note, you may be thinking, well, Tahta, that is always Tahta. So how could that have been the Ma'moolun? How could that have been affected by Mafqoodun, right? You follow? You might be thinking, well, Tahta is always Tahta. Fawqa is always Fawqa, right? So wherever it is in the sentence, it's going to be al mafulu. Fihi. So, let's exchange Tahta for Yawmun. Right? What does Yawmun mean? A day. A day. Yawmun is just a day. It's a normal Ismun. But it can also act as Dharfu as Zamani. Right? So, let's say that you lost the key on Saturday. Ordinarily, it would be, what's Saturday? It would be, Yomu a Sabati. Right? Sabati, wouldn't it? Mm. But, we now have, in our sent, so by itself, Yomu Sabati, Saturday. Yeah. In our sentence, if we want to express that meaning of the key, was lost on Saturday, Mafkudun now is acting as an Amilun upon Yomu. Yeah. So it can no longer be Yomu. Yes. It must be Yoma. Yoma. Can you see now? Yeah, Yoma. Can you see now how it's the Amilun? Mm -hmm. That example's better because Tahta. It's always tahta, unless it's preceded by harfu jar, then it becomes tahti. But yom is ordinarily, in most instances, you encounter yomun, a day, right? Sanatun, a year, amun, a year, shahrun, a month. All of them are just a normal asma'un, unless there's an amilun, such as these, that represent. Now, upon the ismun, the, uh, the time in which the action took place. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that clear? Yeah. Again, this isn't a particularly complicated subject. Right? Um, and you will have encountered this before and you'll continue to do so. But you need to be aware because it's the third type of... Al Mafailu al Khamsatu. We shall conclude on that point. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.